So as I said at the beginning of Mass, this is a, a wonderful celebration for us Paulist fathers as we celebrate St. Barnabas, Paul's great friend, his mentor who led him to Antioch. Uh, it was Paul who introduced, I mean, it was uh, Barnabas who introduced Saul or Paul to the community in Jerusalem. They were afraid of this person. They had very good reason to be afraid of Paul because of all the uh, persecution that he caused the early church. Uh, but here it was that this wonderful, uh, trusting, uh, risk-taking uh, Barnabas uh, called the community to let uh, Paul come in and talk with him, meet him. His name uh, was originally Joseph, and tradition has it, uh, that it was changed by the community of the faith to Barnabas, which means uh, in the Hebrew, son of encouragement. That's a great word, encouragement, to uh, kind of have the courage inside and to have others develop a sense of courage inside themselves. This is what Barnabas did. This is his legacy, uh, first helping uh, Paul himself, helping the community to have courage, and helping Paul to have courage to come out there and to uh, go to Antioch with him, the first place where, as we hear, according to Luke in his account of the Acts of the Apostles, the first place where the followers of Jesus were known as Christians, that is in the Greek, the followers of the Christ, the Messiah. Uh, there was no name in the Hebrew. Uh, it wasn't like the Messiahs, uh, possibly because uh, the church wasn't very well accepted uh, in Jerusalem. They didn't kind of broadcast that right away and the Hebrew language, but of course the Greek language spoken all over the Mediterranean would be more acceptable to hear uh, the word Christ, the Messiah in that word, in the Greek word. So we have this wonderful day uh, today in a time that each of us could use some encouragement. Those of us who follow uh, Jesus and the way of Jesus, uh, we're getting pretty sick and tired of being in our homes, our apartments, I'm sure, uh, not being able to feel as free as we would like to be. We'd like to come together to gather as a community of faith here at St. Paul the Apostle. It is coming, we are told. Uh, the church is hoping that uh, very soon we will be opening up in Manhattan uh, our church doors for sacraments, including daily mass, but probably not for a few more weeks. Uh, so in the meantime, let's encourage one another uh, taking to heart this wonderful person in our, uh, our reading today uh, who took to heart that message of Jesus of being vulnerable, of not worrying about carrying stuff around, but sending the good news, being a part of the good news and continually encouraging uh, his brothers and sisters in the faith. Let's be that for one another today.